welcome to the channel i'm the goods on youtube tg so good everywhere else big shout out to everybody who are joining me i'm gonna go ahead and click play i'm gonna launch nba 2k24 on my pc for the first time let's do it all right so the game is loading up this is the very first time that i'm loading the game up i'm gonna go through a few things with you guys i don't have anything scripted or planned so please try to uh you can speed up the video or slow down the video you can fast forward rewind as you see fit let me get through these screens and i'll get to what we need to get to okay so i'm gonna do this again i thought i was recording <laughs> All right, so in Steam, you want to come to where it says NBA 2K24 in your library, right click, and then you want to go to, let's see, I think we can, let's browse local files. Uh, I don't see anything happening. Oh, there it is. Once you go to browse local files, yeah, let me close that up. Let's do it again. Right click, manage, browse local files. It'll pull up your 2K24 directory, and that's where all the game files are. Um, not the save files, but the actual files that are within the game. You can, right here where it says common 2K24, if you click on common, see this NBA 2K24 folder? I think you can do this on Windows 11 also, but I'm on Windows 10. So you can drag this 2K24 folder over here underneath quick access. And uh, once you drag it over there, it'll always be there for you to go to. But if you don't do that, Again, you can right click here, manage, browse local files, and it'll pull it up. Okay, so anyway, there's natively a mods folder already here. I'm gonna do a separate video, so I'll, I'll take a mod and put it in here, and we'll check it out in game. Um, so for right now, I just wanted to show you guys that's where it is. All right, so then I need to figure out where the save files actually are. Uh, if I go to, hold on one second, I'll tell you. So if I go to Steam user data, and then uh, I need to find my, you guys are probably only gonna have one folder. In fact, I'm just gonna get rid of this folder. I'm tired of seeing it. All right, so I'll click on that, that's me. And then this game here is the most recent game that I had to save on, which is 2K24. So that's my user number or whatever. And then this is my, this is the game ID number for Steam. Then I don't know what this one is. I don't know what that file is, don't care. But then you've got the, the local file. So there's the sync bin. And then you got the remote file. So you got your career mode builds, created players, uh, settings, user data, all of that good stuff. So none of this stuff is hacking. All this stuff is your files on your PC. So they belong to you. You may want to put this remote folder underneath your quick access. Um, you may not, I don't know, but I've shown you how to get to both your 2k 24 directory and your save files now. All right. So anyway, so the remote folder will have all your save files and the local folder is like stuff that 2K up updates. Sync bin will have like files and stuff that 2K um, puts in the game as the game, game goes on if they don't put it in the main 2K24 directory. So hopefully this was all easy for you guys to understand. I'm gonna try to keep my videos pretty short this year. I don't wanna um, overdo it for anybody, especially newcomers. A lot of people are gonna stick with 2K23, but they still may find some of these videos very informative and helpful. Um, and I'm gonna actually, yeah. Uh, I'm going to end this video here because I need to figure out what I'm going to do next. I'm going to try to add a mod. I'm going to make that video right now, but I don't want to go over two hours playing this game just in case I do decide to refund it. All right.